Jeff, we'll start off with your thoughts to the feet to put Vale uh, early in the week. We got Paul Phillips, he didn't seem too downbeat about it. What did you make of it? Yeah, I think he was right. Uh, I think first half uh, we did everything by scoring a goal. You know, there was the same old Harry Town energy and um, aggressive intent in the, in the front foot and, and put the teams under pressure. And we did that, um, but it just made it a little bit disappointing that after the break we conceded a chance and then conceded a goal a minute later in that uh, chance um, that was created through a free kick that was played too easily down out of the side of us. Um, so we were frustrated at that, um, having been in the ascendancy first half. Um, but overall, we take our chances, you know, we win the game. Yeah, we are creating a few, but are we just lacking that bit of confidence in front of goal at the moment? Yeah, and I think that's just human nature to um, having a few blanks, really, and, and not quite finding the target and, uh, or scoring a goal. And um, you see when players get on a run of scoring, they, they just can't fail to score when they're presented with an opportunity. We've had several in the last few weeks that have, could have brought us home quite a few points, but it, it hasn't uh, meant to be. And, but we've got to bounce back now and um, show character and start with energy. Yeah, I chance to do that at Bolton. Um, they've got a big stadium, a nice stadium, some big players have played there and it's one that the fans would have loved to have gone to this season, wouldn't they? Oh yeah, 100% and um, it, it's, it's always a shame for the fans have missed out on so many new experiences, new grounds, big, huge grounds um, this season. But we owe it to them again, you know, on, on Saturday to, to turn up a 100% um, grafting performance in and put them under pressure. You know, and uh, ask questions of them, like we did in the first game, which, we, yeah, uh, admittedly we we lost narrowly, but uh, again we had the line share of possession and chances. Mm. What do you make of Bolton's form at the moment? I mean, at the start of the season, Ian Everton was talking getting sacked after about seven or eight games because they did make a poor start, but recently they, they went 14 games unbeaten until they lost at Newport last time out. What, what do you make of their season? Well, I, I think um, they changed it around in, in the January window and brought in some fantastic signings, you know, especially for this level, you know, and really increased the depth and quantity of their squad and and it took off. So credit to Ian for that, you know, he changed it around and uh, their fortunes changed and they've had huge momentum, you know, going into the business end of the season. Yeah, and they're a good side. How nice would it be to, to get that win on Saturday and just give it a bit of a lift? Yeah, I think that's what we're all after, you know, and uh, it'd be nice to have a little bit of uh, looking for a goal, maybe one going off someone's backside or something, just to get, get us going again. And I'm not saying that we have to rely on that, um, but yeah, we, we just need a bit of change of fortune in front of goal because um, the build-up play is quite from being pretty good. We, um, I thought both wide men were in the game, especially in the first half and causing um, Port Vale some problems. Two centre midfielders were as good as any anything on view on the day. Um, we have to remember to keep clean sheets. It's not we're not quite um, fluent up front and scoring goals, but uh, things to work on still in training. Um, but overall, you know, it's it's a happy camp. You know, when we want to uh, strive for that win, and uh, no better players to do it than obviously at Bolton. And I suppose that's the problem they've had is that everyone wants to turn up and. Uh, and beat Bolton because they're such a huge club at this level. But um, I'd take that as a compliment. You know, they're they're a big club, but uh, we'll be doing all we can. Well, best of luck. Thank you.